Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton, your host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. This is a show where I bring you key experts in the fields of nutrition, prevention, integrative, and lifestyle medicine. Today's show topic is the use of a nitrate-rich inorganic beetroot supplement in prehypertensive subjects evaluating the antihypertensive response and the endothelial response to this product. Our guest today is Dr. Matthew J. Budoff. He is a professor of medicine at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. He is the head of cardiac CT and the fellowship program at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. In this study, they took a commercial nitrate-rich beetroot product and they got 60 prehypertensive subjects, usually blood pressure between like 130, 140, and they split them up into two groups and they gave one group the product, 340 milligrams of this supplement uh, once a day, and they gave a placebo in the other group and they did this for 12 weeks. And what they observed after the 12 weeks was there was acute benefit of improved endothelial function. That means how the artery dilates after being constricted. That's a sign of health and nitric oxide release. There was an immediate improved uh, endothelial response two hours after taking the supplement and also after the 12 weeks versus the placebo group. Also, there was a 12.5 millimeter reduction in the systolic, that's the, the top blood pressure, uh, in, the, in the group that took the beetroot extract at the end of the study. Now, the placebo group also went down um, six millimeters, but that's normal in a placebo group. So this was still a response, and Dr. Budoff uh, said this was quite a remarkable response, much like a, a drug might have on this group of subjects. So that's very positive. So what you can imply from this is, one, it was very safe. Uh, there were no side effects. And this is something that would be used maybe alone in prehypertensive subjects, that's people with 130, maybe 140 blood pressure to see if it comes down. But in those with significant hypertension, Dr. Budoff warns that you wouldn't take this supplement by itself. In other words, in somebody with a blood pressure 160, 170, 180, you wouldn't want to do that because if you only came down 10 or so points, you're still not out of the range to increase the risk to stroke and other complications. But you could take this product in conjunction with a traditional hypertensive medication and there shouldn't be any um, interactions and then safe to do so. So that product was the Berkeley Life Professional Nitric Oxide Support. Uh, you can get it commercially. Uh, this is the product. So uh, the reason I like this kind of research is because it's done in an academic center. Um, flow media dilation or how they test endothelial function is that they constrict the brachial artery for several minutes, I can't remember exactly, I think it's either five or 10 minutes, and then they let it go, and they measured the uh, dilation of that artery, the filling of the artery, and that is significant of a healthy artery, and it was improved two hours after taking the supplement, but also at the end of 12 weeks. Now, the hope is, we don't know what would happen down the road, but other products have been studied that have improved endothelial function, that have reduced blood pressure, and at the end of a year, such as age garlic extract, they have been shown to reduce the rate of coronary calcification, that is atherosclerosis, the hardening of the artery, slow it considerably, and actually reverse some of the soft plaque. So the implication would be, if this was taken out a year, that might happen, though that has to be studied. So my name is Kirk Hamilton. You can read a summary of this below uh, this YouTube or the link uh, to my podcast, and then the summary below that. Uh, this is the Staying Healthy Today show. Uh, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.